Hello ladies and gentlemen, hey everybody, uh, this is your boy, Kyle, aka Vulcan Wolverine, star date, 12.30pm Central Time, June 20th, 2019. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this one short guys, uh, cause I'm not, not feeling great today. <laughs> You can see the outcome of, uh, I tied on a couple last night, um, you can see the outcome of that in the three videos, uh, where I was singing, uh, it's really funny, I got, uh, three emails, <laughs> I was, okay, I don't want, well, I don't want to, um, talk about it too much, because I got some important information, but I tried to monetize, uh, those singing videos for some reason, the reason being because, uh, because I was drunk. Uh, and I got three emails uh, from YouTube. Uh, they they copyright claim them. Thank the Lord that they just copyright claim them. Stupid Kyle, uh, you know, was just playing songs that were copyright. I could have easily gotten copyright strikes or something like that. Was not thinking clearly, but I did get to blow off some steam. There are some positive ways for us to blow off steam. We got to remember that. Okay, so I want to get to some important information. I'm going to keep this quick. I'm going to put the uh, the links in the description box. Um, this is actually from a blog, uh, Human Rights Watch 3, uh, and it came out in 2000. Uh, you know, they put out this information in 2016, but I never saw it. Seems a lot of people did see it. Um, you know, I'm going to go, we need to go ahead though. Like, cause I, I I didn't know about this, but it's it's really bombshell uh, evidence of non-consensual uh, experimentation with directed energy weapons. It's actually a contract that was put out by. Um, well, I'll just show you guys. Let let me just read it. Uh, so this is from Invisible. It's called Invisible Directed Energy Weapons Being Used on Civilians Around the World uh, from Human Human Rights Watch Three uh, is the is the blog. And it seems like uh, it seems like they've got a lot of uh, followers, like 4,500. I'm gonna go ahead and follow them too. I don't know if they're still blogging. I gotta check all that. But um, okay, so so uh, invisible directed energy weapons being used on civilians around the world. Uh, this, and I'll show you all the document. And I want y'all to check out the document. I'm gonna put the link. Uh, to the blog in, in the description, and I'm going to uh, put the link to the actual document. Uh, this is a contract offering for directed energy bioeffects research to be done on humans. It speaks for itself. Bodies and lives are being used by the military industrial complex for profit, while these innocent victims, I like to call us survivors, but yeah, uh, are prevented from earning income and sabotaged in every way possible. Yeah, I mean, it's excruciating. It's an excruciating nightmare. I feel so weird. Uh, you know, God, I didn't know what, what, you know, God had gifted me with such a great perspective on life. And after so many years of being targeted and talking about this stuff, and like, you know, we have some, some good, we're moving forward. People are becoming aware about it, but just not in the way that I thought. Like, you know, I strategize, like, if people had even just a percentage of sanity left in the world, that, you know, this would be going a whole lot differently, that people would be, like, really, uh, you know, non-target individuals would be extremely angry about this and would know that it's, it's concretely going on. But I think that, you know, it's, it's weird. It gets weird. I know you, you other targeted individuals know what I'm talking about, but... My perspective is being eroded. I feel abandoned by my country, um, not my family. I know a lot of you guys may feel abandoned by your family. My family, you know, uh, taught me to be a good person and gave me all the advantages they could and, and just weren't prepared for this. Um, but it really erodes your perspective and, uh, you know, what you, you know, how you think of people. Like, why, why would... You know, why would the world just let this go on? Why would we have to fight so hard when we're just being tortured and experimented on, you know, uh, for no reason? Didn't do anything to deserve it. And we have to fight so hard to just convince people. And we're called crazy. And, and people think that we're mentally ill and selfish. It's just eroded my perspective. 
I always thought very highly of the larger percentage of humans in the world. I know there's really good people out there. There's a lot of people who are very good and they just don't know about this stuff, but does a number does a number on uh, on something that I, I didn't know. I didn't know how great of a perspective God gave me in life. And it gets weird still talking about this after so many years, still being tortured. We got to do it. Miracles are happening. More miracles will happen. Okay, so, so let's continue with this. In this proposal, they talk about the prediction of health degradation, while they also talk about the protection of the human subject. I don't even get that. Like, I read the document, and I'm definitely going to put it in the description, but they're talking about, like, uh, protection of the human subject while they're bombarding us with radiation you know and this is just one contract released uh, from this group and, and and let me read it to you guys let me finish this um, oh mmm not feeling good at all today uh, I mean I am being targeted and tortured but uh, ooh, I you know I got a daiquiri last night and I asked for like a, a shot of rum in it, and I think they put like two shots of Everclear instead, or something like that. Ooh, and then I started, uh, you know, ooh, and then I started drinking beer. It, it does, it like it, it helps a lot, like because I'm very entrained by the remote neural manipulation. I use my defenses to unentrain from it, and you can't, you know, drinking every night is not maintainable. So I don't drink every night, but once a month I will let loose. And I'll like drink, and it kind of it it does a, it it disconnects some of the entrainment, and I'll listen to music, and then and well, y'all saw the end result of uh, of me blowing off steam last night. It was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> Got to do that sometimes. Okay, so uh, this is about assault with a deadly weapon. This is about hitting innocent citizens with sophisticated military weaponry. This information is readily available online. I mean, that's that's the thing. This information is not hidden, and and I want y'all to also know. I'll, well, I'll go I'll go into that after I after I uh, go over this. But there's a directed energy summit for 2019 by Booz Allen Hamilton. You know, they don't come out and in their speeches or their presentations. They don't come out and say, "Oh, we're we're experimenting on human test subjects." They talk about like missile deterrence and. Uh, you know, sur uh, to uh, pinpointing targets and things like that. They don't come right out and say it, but there's directed energy summits. There's a directed energy caucus in the House of Representatives, and they had a senator. Well, I th I, maybe it's in the Senate. It, maybe it's maybe it's uh, maybe it's all of Congress. I think it's maybe all of Congress. But there's a directed energy caucus, and a senator from New Mexico uh, gave a presentation at the directed energy. Uh, directed Energy Summit put on by Booz Allen Hamilton. So, I mean, they're talking about these things, but they're just not putting it out in the mainstream news because they want investors to know about it. They want, uh, you know, military and contractors who are working on it to be able to get that information, to look at the presentations, but they don't want, like, the public, they don't want to, you know, present this Directed Energy uh, Summit on mainstream news because then people are going to be like, Directed Energy Weapons? Well, there's all these people saying they're being hit with directed energy weapons. They don't want that. You know, they don't want people to start kind of catching on, which which they are anyway. You know, miracles will happen, and people are good. People are good. People. There are a lot of good people. There are a lot of bad people in the world, though, too. Um, okay, so I would like to talk to these contractors who are making money from human misery. And then um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I'll put the link in the in the description. Um, and then so this is part of the, the actual document, and so it's a contract. It's a basic IDIQ. I don't know what that means, but uh, statement of objective from uh, January 23rd, 2013, Directed Energy Bioeffex Research. Uh, so this is Directed Energy Bioeffex Research. Okay, the Directed Energy Bioeffects Research contract supports the U.S. Air Force, one of the largest developers and users of radio frequency and high-powered microwave emitting devices in the world, which has been at the forefront of research on the biological effects of radio frequencies, high-powered microwave radiation for more than 30 years. Uh, the use of directed energy extends to military and commercial applications, while the targeted customers for this effort 
uh, for this effort are primarily concerned with the use and application of radio frequency high powered microwave radiation technologies, the joint services to the Pentagon, that's the Pentagon, and others like the Department of Homeland Security, along with commercial customers, will likely benefit from the research conducted and discoveries made under this program. Now keep in mind, this is just one contract. I can't believe I, I haven't seen this yet. I, maybe a lot of you guys have already seen this, um, but I'm, I, I can't believe, I can't believe that I haven't seen this. But let's, you know, let's spread it around, you know, get it out there. Um, uh, share this link, you know, I'm going to put the link in, so share it on Facebook, share the blog, you know, share the blog on Facebook and Twitter, I'm going to do the same. Um, specifically, the Directed Energy Bioeffects Research contract aids in the mission accomplishment of the Radio Frequency Bioeffects Branch 711 HPW RHDR, part of the Bioeffects Division, to protect Air Force personnel from radio frequency high-powered uh, microwave radiation hazards while minimizing negative operational impact. This will be conducted as part of an extensive research program in the dosimetry and bio effects of radio frequency high-powered microwave radiation. Research results will be transitioned and transferred to national and international health and safety standards which will be used by the Air Force Surgeon General uh, for occupational health and environmental safety, as well as for data to support the rapid development and deployment of directed energy technologies. The advent of high-powered microwaves and ultra-wideband uh, ultra -wideband for directed energy weapons make this effort supporting 711 high-powered um, HPW RHDR's products and services ever more essential to national security. So and then it goes through the goals, the scope of the program, objectives, directed energy biomechanisms, directed energy weapon effectiveness and safety, uh, modeling and simulation of radio frequency bio effects. Uh, and this is from uh, 2013. Um, human effectiveness analysis and integration, health and safety. <laughs> I, I don't even get that. I don't even get that. Provide substantial value to the Air Force and scientific community by evaluating bio effects of directed energy exposure. It is important to address the physical and cognitive health and safety concerns of directed energy systems. Data obtained from RF slash uh, high powered microwave radiation bio effects research is designed in this technical area to support national and international health and safety standards. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I guess I won't go too much into this, but you guys have to know that. Uh, and probably a lot of you do. This is just one angle. This is just one contract, one program, uh, one contract being put out so that contractors and subcontractors of, uh, under the DoD can uh, can apply for this, can apply to do this. The ones that have these weapons, and maybe you're taking other contracts also. Um, you know, and then there's other there's other programs running about like using remote neural manipulation and things like this. It looks like this contract is specifically for the bio effects, um, you know, bio effects of directed energy. Um, but I would think that, yeah, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, but I would think with this like, you know, experimenting uh, to see the bio effects of radio frequency in high powered microwave, they'd probably have remote neural monitoring at least on those targeted individuals for that were uh, that were part of the torture, they would call it like research or whatever, but torture with this kind of contract to see what kind of effects it's having on the mind, the the mood, emotions, and things like that. Uh, and then there are other there are other programs running where it's like trying to actually map the mind with uh, you know with certain directed energy and stuff like that. So this is just one contract out there. I don't know how I don't know how the person got this, um, but but I would I would be really interested in uh, in that so that we could find more of these documents. You know I don't because I, it's a classified document. Let me go back up to the top. Um, oh my like don't feel good. <laughs> I don't feel good at all, guys. Um, Period of performance. The period of performance for the basic IDIQ is 78 months. Security classification level is top secret, 
slash SCI slash SAP slash SAR. Um, and then I want to read some of these things. Like, I don't see how they could say that that they're trying to actually protect the test subjects. These are non-consent. Like, I do not consent. And, and make sure, like, if you're a targeted individual and you're making videos, um, you know, m I do not consent. My parents do not consent to being experimented on, to being tortured. We do not consent. Make sure that we're saying that a lot. This is non-consensual torture. It's non-consensual human experimentation. And we need to say that a lot, that we do not consent. We need to make sure that that's out there. You know, um, so they, they say something about the, uh, let's see, human use. The contractor will use human subjects in research studies under this effort. The final contract will include the clause entitled Protection of Human Subjects. How can you protect human subjects when you're bombarding them uh, with microwave radiation? It's, I guess it's just something they say so that, so that they can feel like they're somehow being moral in some way. This is crazy. Like, I, it's crazy how litigious and people, like, human beings bend words, but then they do these evil things and torture people where there are no words to get out of it. But they put these, like, pretty words in the contract or something that they're going to protect the human subjects that they're torturing? Protect us by not torturing us, right? I mean, duh. Durr. Duh. So, it's all crazy. You know, it's, it's really all crazy. But I, but I wanted to show you all this. So, let me get, take a drink of my, uh, got some green tea. Honesty. What a great name. What a great name for a tea. Honesty. Get your dose of honesty. Mmm. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, for the performance of the contract, the contractor will be complying with the provisions of the following directives or regulations. The Department of Defense Title 32... Code of Federal Regulations, Part 219, Protection of Human Subjects. DHA, Department of Home, is that Department of Homeland Security? Regulations, Title 45, Code of Federal Re Regulations, Part 46, Protection of Human Subjects. July 2009, DOD Instruction 3216.02, Protection of Human Subjects and Adherence to Ethical Standards in DOD Support Research. How can they say things like that? How can they, I mean, because my, I mean, like, this torture is hardcore. I mean, it damages. It feels like it's doing permanent damage to my brain. Uh, permanent damage to my brain, permanent damage to my nervous system. That maybe if they stop now, I could heal up through years and years. Um, protection of human subjects? I mean, that's crazy. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense that this would be in there. And, and, you know why it would be in there. I think. I mean, I think this is legit, though. I think the language used and the format and everything and, and how it's classified. I think it's legit. I really do. I wouldn't be putting it out if I didn't think it was legit. But I'm gonna go ahead and put the link to the blog and the link to this document in the description so everybody can take a look. Uh, so non-targeted individuals can take a look at it. So targeted individuals can look at it, and we can pass it around. Um, but I'm, I'm very sure that this is a legit contract uh, for the Air Force, you know, for the Air Force, putting it out so that contractors and subcontractors like Booz Allen Hamilton, maybe some smaller contractors can go ahead and apply to actually carry out this torture and research on non-consensual test subjects in their homes. In their homes. This isn't like people go to a hospital and volunteer and say, well, you can hit me with some radio frequencies. This is people who just are non-consensually implanted, like I was at Oshner. And by the way, um, like I wanted to get my medical records from when I was like 12 years old. I went to Oshner, New Orleans, and uh, it was like in 1993. And I've called and I've filled out the form filled out the form to get to get all my medical records from that time but the lady in uh in medical records at the Oshner here was like well if it was in 1993 there's probably not going to be anything there's you know they're, they're going to 
have those all those records were going to be on paper and they're going to move them out to get new records in so she said she would check like one more avenue of trying to find those documents but it's like i, I don't think i'm going to be able to get i don't think that they exist anymore um i was hoping to find something like if my parents signed something saying that somebody could experiment on me but now i i, I don't know she, I, I hope she finds something you know i gave her my social security She's gonna she's gonna really look into it, but she's like if ten years goes by and, and they do away with those records. So that that's got me really, really um I just I mean, it's just like the good people who this is happening to were given no resources. We're not supposed to be able to fight this. We're supposed to die. We're supposed to just be tortured and die. It's not supposed to be a fight. It's we're not supposed to be able to do anything about it, but we're showing them and we will show them. We will show them more and more every day. We just got to soften it up. We got to work the body, work the body, work the body, soften it up, putting videos out, activism and everything like that. Some of you guys out there who are targeted individuals, you may be like, well, you know, YouTube videos aren't going to fix this. Well, they, they, they might not fix it, but it's going to soften it up, soften it up, keep softening it up with activism, soften it up, let the public know about it. And then those court cases and those bigger things can work because the public will be aware, some judges will be aware. We just got to keep softening it up, softening up, and then take another crack at it. Uh, you know, I'm I'm definitely gonna gonna go that route. But I want to look up some, I want to look up some very concrete information on like if you can join a class action suit if you do your own individual suit. Like, cause I know that some people are like, well, you can't join a class action suit if you if you do an individual suit of this, like with this. Uh, Tr uh, trying to uh, litigate the same thing, uh, but I really want to get some documentation and see, um, and maybe somebody comment on that if you want to. Uh, but I really want to put concrete information out so we know exactly, you know, what we can do, um, you know, what our options are, right? Um, okay, so so I just wanted to show uh, animal use too. You know, they're gonna this the the contractor will use animals and research studies under this effort. They're using my dog, you know. Um, I think that they, you know, they they do stuff to her before they try certain things on me. So they use they use pets to try stuff on. Well, some people they just kill their pets. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on uh, what contractor is doing it to you and what kind of rules they have set forth, how much oversight they have, which seems like none. I mean, it just seems like none. It seems like they're just murderers. Um, but they have kind of a system set up where it's, uh, oh yeah, yeah, this is contractors and it's, uh, you know, kind of governmental, kind of military. What it really is, though, is it's, it's, um, you know, they do things. Private contractors and contractors do these things because they separate themselves from the government so they can be efficient in their torture and experimentation, and they're also a little bit more untouchable than if they were like, if it was like current armed forces doing this experimentation. Now, the, the contractors and private contractors probably do use like satellites and, uh, and ground radar and over the horizon radar from Air Force bases and things like that. They can tap into those because they have military clearances. But I still think, and you know, you, we can talk about this more, you know, I do talk about it with a lot of targeted individuals, but I do think that the, re the, the torture and experimentation is carried out by private contractors because they want to separate it so it'll be efficient because the government's not efficient. Uh, you look at the post office, you look at Social Security or anything like that, it's very, very inefficient. So they, it's kind of like a private business that's going to be efficient, but really working as a military operation. And it's, it's new, newly evolved so that they can try and uh, get out of uh, actually um, you know, having to have to have having to have responsibility for what they're doing. And they have to have responsibility for what they're doing because they're murdering families. And this this weird kind of um, whoever they're targeting, whoever's around those people, the people that they're targeting, like me, um, you know, they'll just start targeting your family, and it's just kind of like this ripple effect. And that's just how it works. And uh, they might not target everybody around you, but that's that's like how they're doing. That's how they're growing it. That's how they're growing uh, the experimentation. They're just pulling in people, and since they're surveilling you, they're going to be surveilling the people around you, friends and family. So they've already got eyes on them, and then they can just 
maybe the same contractor. Like my parents are being severely targeted. That's why I like got really drunk because I hung out with my parents, and my mom is uh, is so stressed out. I mean, she's not going to admit that she's being targeted by this, and I don't even try and convince her. Like, I just want to try and stop it because she knows that I'm being targeted. She knows that this is true um, for me, but she won't admit it. And, like, they were just heating up her phone. Like, her contractors, it, probably her contractors were heating up her phone, like, while we were using her phone. I was taking some pictures of her that she wanted to put on LinkedIn and stuff. Um, just, just basically showing me yeah we're targeting her you know it was like a, a very concrete um a concrete proof other things too but i don't want to go into them. it was very very like i just sat there i, I mean it just like my heart just continually gets broke it keeps being broken over and over and, over. and i know you, you other target individuals now we gotta use some duct tape uh tape back together uh piece it back together and, and keep going though this is big time information. This is big time information. I can't believe I hadn't seen it before. Um, you guys check it out. I, I don't, I, you know, I, I didn't even plan on really talking this long about it, but I do want to put the link in. I want to put the link in the description and everything. This is just hardcore evidence, more hardcore evidence of this experimentation, of this non consensual experimentation on Americans and p civilians in other countries. So I'm going to go ahead, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and, um, and put this video out, and please, guys, try and just spread this, uh, 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 you know, that blog, this video, uh, share it on Facebook uh, and Twitter and everything. I'm going to do so right after I make this video. And then I kind of, um, what I wanted to do, guys, um, any, <laughs> any second now, any second now, I should be uh, getting my live stream capabilities back on uh, on this main channel. Any 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 day now, uh, any day now. But what I really want it to do, um, hopefully, it'll be this weekend. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe today. I haven't checked it today. Um, but I definitely am probably not going to do a live stream today. I just I feel like such crap. I got to do some healing and. Get my body back from what I did to it last night. Oof. Um, but uh, but I but I do like if I get my live stream capabilities back uh, this weekend, I want to do a live stream on this 2019 Directed Energy Summit by Booz Allen Hamilton. But I'm gonna go ahead. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna put this um, this link in the description for this video, um, so you guys can take a look at it uh, and kind of lo maybe look at some of the presentations if you want. If you don't want to, you don't have to, um, but I was just, you know, I'll probably do, a, um, I might break it up into two live streams. I might just do one one long live stream this weekend. Uh, this is the senator from New Mexico. He's a Democratic senator from New Mexico. He is the founder of the Directed Energy Caucus. Uh, I, I'm not sure when they, when they founded it. Let's see. Co oh, no, he's a co-founder. Senator Martin Heinrich, a Democrat from New Mexico, Co-founder of the Directed Energy Caucus. Uh, oh, I can't read that. Oh, the uh, Armed Services Committee. The Senate Armed Services Committee. So, like, I don't, you know, I, I really think, I think some senators and congressmen totally know that they're doing human experimentation on people. Like, totally. Like, totally. And they don't, they, like, in these, in these presentations, they don't come out and say, well, we're, you know, we're, we're uh, researching on our own people. We're experimenting on them to see the bio effects and to use neuro weapons and things like that. They talk about, like, things in general, and they talk about, like, anti-missile type directed energy, uh, high-powered microwaves and things like that. But I'm going to go over some of these, uh, some of these presentations. Um, I went over the 2018 Directed Energy Summit, and you'd think, I mean, I guess... You would think some of this would be on the mainstream news, like, but I guess people would say like, well, we don't want to give our secret, our military secrets away to our enemies or whatever, and that's why. I mean, that's why they torture their own citizens. That's why, like, the United States, its military-industrial complex, tortures and experiments us because it doesn't want to give away those secrets and advancements to other countries. So that that's why non-consensual human experimentation by governments of each country they, they do it on their own citizens. That's the reason why. But um, 
it, it would just it would just seem like this is very very it's like the this really really powerful it's very very powerful weapons uh that that will not not change the world but have already changed the world and the way that they're being used so irresponsibly it's changed the world for the worse um and they're they're using these weapons as weapons of mass disruption so tons of people like on youtube and certain truther groups and stuff they're being hit with these weapons certain people in the groups are being hit with these weapons groups are being infiltrated and it's just like part of this full spectrum dominance thing you know people have to know about this stuff i think it is the priority like, because if we're going to figure anything else out, right, if we're going to go after corrupt stuff that's happening in America, and if you're in another country, if you're going to go after corrupt stuff and figure things out, well, we better, everybody better know that the, there are these remote neuro weapons and remote directed energy weapons that can screw up our heads, that can screw up our minds and make it harder for us to find the truth and work on those other very important problems like satanic ritual abuse, um, and, and many, 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 many more uh, corrupt things that are going on in the world. Um, but, I'll, but I'll probably go, hopefully, maybe, maybe I'll get my live stream back today. It, should, it's, it really should be any day, any second now, any second now. Um, but all right, guys, I'm going to put that link in, in this video. I just wanted to do a short video. I'm going to put this, this, uh, this link right here in the description. Uh, very, very important document. Okay, I got somebody coming at the door, so I'm going to go ahead and end it. I love you guys. Uh, more to come. More to come. Let's keep fighting. Uh, keep Stay spiritually strong and uh, you know, try and stay healthy, as healthy as we can. And you know, Don't drink as much as I did last night, but you don't know how much I drank. All right, I love you guys. <laughs> I drank a lot. Love you guys. I'll, I'll see you on the next one, okay?